family, it's Ashley, and today we are going over week 30's update. But before we get into it, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, hit that notification bell to become part of the family. And if you like our content, definitely share with your friends and family. It helps our channel and our family grow. With that said, we've got a lot of stuff to go over in week 30. Excuse the hair, I'm having a really bad hair day. <laughs> um, but... Let's just get into it. Nothing really has changed with the kids or anything like that. Um, they're doing their activities and getting stuff done. Annie's working on speech. She's working on her S, K, and G sounds right now. And she's doing pretty well. Doing pretty good. Can't complain. So I'm going to go over my symptoms for the week my cravings for the week and then I will go over my doctor's appointment and what happened. So, let's see. So cravings, I am literally craving cornbread and I'm probably going to order some um, just because that just sounds really good. Um, and then chili for some reason just sounds really good to me. So like cornbread and chili sounds really good. So that was random. And I'm also craving like pancakes and stuff like that um i do have to say that the newest like big craving that i've been having that we have been stocking up on is rice cakes and i've been having rice cake in the morning um the cinnamon ones or the i just got the cinnamon ones but last week we got the caramel ones and oh they were so good so definitely love the rice cakes right now and funny enough i crave those with annie too and it's just funny to see the same cravings pop up <laughs> so and the reason why i crave them with annie is because i worked at a preschool that served rice cakes for a snack so it was very interesting to crave it now all of a sudden I was doing grocery shopping I'm like you know what sounds really good a rice cake um, and lemonade tart lemonade and I've previously said that before but yeah lemonade coming in hot definitely craving it <laughs> And definitely got it after my doctor's appointment. But other than that, really nothing much on the craving front. Symptoms. Very hard to sleep right now. Um, just because I'm having, having a lot of pelvic pain um, right now. Because of just all the pressure from my stomach. Um, it literally feels like my hip bones are going to like break and fall off, but um, I remember feeling like that more with Sawyer than Annie. Um, definitely, definitely uncomfortable for sure. Experiencing backache and the normal other day symptoms, I'm definitely feeling a lot of leg pain right now, so... We're in the final stretch. So, <laughs> we have nine weeks and I can do this. So with that said, let's just get into how big Adeline is and then I will let you know the update on her doctor's appointment. So Adeline is as big as a bunch of broccoli. So that was interesting. Annie thought it was funny. She's as big as the raccoon hat from Moon Rise Kingdom. And she's as big as Slinky the dog from Toy Story. So Annie really got a kick out of that. Right now Annie and Sawyer are at swim, so Annie couldn't give you that update on her own. Adeline is around 16 inches long and three pounds. And her body is now regulating her body temperature, so that's really cool. And she is, her brain is getting bigger, like it's developing more. So that was pretty cool. Not too much on the development um, tool aspect right now for her. She's just growing and getting, getting chunky. 
Um, for me, it says um, change in fetal movement, which she's just moving all over the place. Right now, she's currently on my right side all the time in my ribs. Swollen feet and ankles, which I'm not having that. Constipation, yes, because of the iron pills. Um, stretch marks, not too much, just some on my belly. And fatigue, yes, because I can't really sleep very well. But either than that, that is the update on Adeline's growth and development. And let's get into the doctor's appointment. So, doctor's appointment this week was very stressful. I had a doctor's appointment on Wednesday. And I go in normal and everything's fine. And a back story is, is every time I go to the doctor's office, something weird has to happen or I just get very anxious and overwhelmed before because I just one hate going to the doctors and two just don't like going by myself and <laughs> because of COVID Jason can't go with me to every single appointment like he did with Sawyer and Annie so yeah it I get really anxious and overwhelmed and stressed out. So when I got there, they weighed me, they checked me in and everything, and the medical technician took my blood pressure and it was at 151 over 80. So it was high. Um, and I, t I usually tell them to check my blood pressure twice just because I know that I get anxious and nervous and even my doctor was like Ashley why is your blood pressure so high because usually my blood pressure with this pregnancy has been like in the 120s or a little elevated in the 130s but other than that it's been like normal and if you've seen my previous vlogs with like Annie's uh, birth story and stuff like that you would know that I had early stages of preeclampsia with her. So because of my history, they just wanted like double check and everything. So they were gonna check it after the appointment. It was over after I saw the doctor and everything. So I'm in there, I'm waiting. Uh, my doctor, like my, my doctor comes in, checks Adeline's heartbeat, it's normal. She's telling me like, do you have any symptoms? Like any upper pain right here um, or any you know headaches that are in your the back of your neck that last like last too long that don't go away and like she checked my feet they weren't swollen my ankles weren't swollen so that like and I told her I'm like I'm not having any of those symptoms my I occasionally get like a sinus headache in the front and that's because I'm really tired but either than that, I'm not getting anything like that or any pain in my stomach. Usually it's in like my lower stomach um, because of the pressure of not being able to go to the bathroom because of the constipation and yada, yada, yada. So she was like, okay, let's just check your blood pressure and we'll, we'll be good. You know, you know, we'll see what's going on. And then after that, we, you know, like was asking her, I'm like, what can make my blood pressure so high? Like, I'm eating regularly, I'm, you know, I haven't gained that much, I've only gained 24 pounds so far, and she's like, it could just be your body just doing what it's doing, and so we checked it again, and sure enough, it only went down one point, so it was like 150 over 80 or something like that, so it was still high, so she recommended me come back in on that Friday, and like two days later to check it again and monitor it which she knew that I had a cup at home like a cuffed at home she told me to like check it every once in a while and so I was like okay and then I got my blood drawn they tested my iron again which that kind of irritated me because the me the medical technician told me that I should take one in the morning one at night and I asked my doctor and I'm like, you know what, it's making me really uncomfortable. Do I have to take it at night too? You know, like, 
I'm like literally to the point where I'm keeling over because of constipation pain. And she's like, why are you taking two? You were barely anemic. You're supposed to be at a 13. You're at a, at a 10. And she's like, we're going to retest it, but just take it in the morning. Like you just, you're, you're good. You just need to take one. So that was a little frustrating. But I got my blood drawn and <laughs> went to Starbucks, got my drink. I was an emotional wreck. I was crying hysterically like the rest of the afternoon because I'm like, I don't want to have preeclampsia again. And the doctor did, you know, alarm me saying that if, you know, it continued that they were going to have to take Adeline out earlier than 39 weeks. And I just got really anxious, really nervous on that part, and I was just not happy uh, that day. So what I did the next two days, so Thursday, the rest of Wednesday, and the rest of uh, Thursday, I monitored it on my, my cuff that I had at home. And every time I tested it, and I tested it three times in the morning, three times in the afternoon, and three times at night, and each time was below 120. And so I'm like, okay, this is weird. I, you know, right before my doctor's appointment on Friday, I checked it and I was getting really nervous and anxious and it was spiked up to 138 and then went back down. And the lower number was always below like 68. Like it was not super high or anything like that. So I'm like, okay, I'm thinking it's the doctor's office that just overwhelms me and I'm, I, I don't know what's going on. So I get to my doctor's appointment, I get checked out, they weigh me again and, which I was the same weight, um, and then they, you know, proceed to check my blood pressure, which was a little bit elevated. It was like 134 and I literally told them, I'm like, it's because I'm here. I'm nervous and everything. And then a medical student came in and asked me questions because she was training with the doctor and I'm okay with that. Like she's training to be a doctor. So I want to like her to get practice in too. So she checked her heartbeat, which bless her heart, Adeline kept moving around. And every time she found Adeline's heartbeat, she would not stop moving. It was the funniest thing. And then after that, she, you know, like asked me questions like, are you having bleeding? Are you having, you know, any cramps, any like feet aches or anything? I'm like, nope, nope, nope. And then, so she was done with asking me the questions. And then my doctor came in she goes, your levels are normal. No sign of protein in your pee anything like that TMI I'm sorry <laughs> um and then she's like your blood pressure is normal it must have been just one of those stressful days and like I told her I was like my you know my family member just passed away I was having a really stressful week because of that and um you know we were we were on the move that day and we were just in the morning so it was just not one of those days, I guess. So she's like, we'll monitor it, but let's just schedule for um, your ultrasound and for the next time, and then we'll see you then. So long story short, I'm fine. Adeline's good, blood pressure's normal, don't have any preeclampsia signs at all. So it was just a fluke, <laughs> just like, the the diabetes testing for the glucose and everything like that so <sighs> what a relief it was just one of those stressful weeks uh, in pregnancy wise so either than that we are good let me show you the bump and then we'll call it a day all right guys sorry for the pajama pants this mom is super pregnant and needed sweatpants on. <laughs> but here is the bump from the right. Here is the bump from the left. And here is the bump from the front.
either than that, I hope that you enjoyed this update. Uh, tune in to next week because we have Adeline's, technically it's supposed to be 32 week ultrasound, but our doctor is not going to be there that week. So we scheduled it right before uh, the 32 week mark. So it's still going to be in 31. It's going to be next Friday. So stay tuned for that. But remember family, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell to become part of the family. Until then, have a family filled day and we'll talk to you in our next video. See you later. Mm -hmm.